The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today I am announcing that I am back on eBay, uh, which is really cool. It was really, really nice to uh, actually go back on eBay this morning, uh, put a few items on. I've got four items on currently, which is a far cry to the amount of items I had on previously. Uh, it is literally a percentage of a percentage of possibly even a percentage, which is which is crazy. Um, but yeah, really glad to be back on there. Obviously, what I've done is I'm doing auctions because I don't really want to be checking it all the time with Buy It Now listings because obviously Buy It Now listings can sell whenever. And I don't really want to be having to check, to check eBay every single day just to make sure something hasn't sold. I don't really trust my notifications on my phone. To be honest, I don't even know whether I've activated them for eBay again. I need to do that. But I don't really trust them fully because sometimes, you know, you, you might miss one or something like that. You'll go on your lock screen, open it up really quick, miss the notification on the lock screen, and then, you know, you, you don't realise something's sold. So... Doing the auction system means that obviously I can set an alarm on my phone every seven days or however long I've got the auctions running. And it means obviously I can then attend to those auctions on that day, get them packaged up, get them labeled, and then obviously get them sent off. Now, weirdly in Bangor, I have noticed about must be nine post boxes now on my travels. I don't even know why they have so many, but I mean, even in sort of a five minute radius of, of walking, there's probably four or five, which is quite crazy just in five minutes. But yeah, I've seen loads in Bangor. So the good thing is I am using uh, mainly sort of jiffy bags and stuff, as I mentioned many times, so they can just go off in the post there. There might be a few times I might have to go down to the post office, but I doubt it, to be honest, because a lot of the stuff is just jiffy bag stuff. Um, so, yeah, I will put up, obviously, on the other side of the screen what I've got on there currently. And uh, I don't really know whether there's anything else I particularly need to say or anything else... Um, I want to specifically cover, I suppose, uh, where do I go from here? That would be that would be interesting. So obviously I mentioned when, uh, before university, that I would be listing things on eBay uh, at university and it just didn't work out like that. Obviously I've done live shows where, where I spoke uh, over the course of being here at university about the fact that obviously I've just been deep into work, I've been deep into the social life, um, just generally the, the new experience that that I have here at university. Um, there definitely is time to fit in eBay, um, but it's just kind of trying to put that into my life and fit it in and, and make sure that it has its proper place and that I can attend to it. So for example, uh, there obviously maybe some days or even some weeks where I am pretty hectic or pretty full on, but I just need to make sure that obviously if that is the case, I am extending some sort of time uh, to be able to deal with that. For example, maybe staying up a little bit later at night, which is something I've considered uh, so that I can get a little bit more uni work done and things like that. So I realised that um, in a more kind of um, philosophical attitude to work, let's say, uh, I realised that currently I'm going to bed about 11, 11 uh, p.m., which you know, for most young people, I suppose it's a little bit early, really. But I've always done that. I've always gone to bed at ten, half 10, 11. And then I wake up at 7. So I've got, like, what, 8 hours, 9 hours? Like, eight, yeah, 8 hours of sleep, right? But one day this week, I decided to stay up till, well, it was probably close to 2 a.m. when I went to bed. And I got up at 8 a.m. So obviously I've had 6 hours sleep. I felt okay. I didn't really feel incredibly tired or anything in the day. You wouldn't expect me to feel particularly tired. Um, and so obviously I've gained an extra couple of hours there from having a little bit more time awake. And so that's something I'm considering because obviously it means that I can do a little bit more in the day. It means that I can also fit in a little bit more book work as well, aside from university work, which I really want to do. So Obviously, there is a time there, there is things to be able to, to put in place where I can make sure that I am um, being able to do even more. And obviously, the social side of life is imperative for me, and I am actually uh, giving that quite a lot of priority as well at the moment. Um, so I'm spending 
a fair bit of time socialising with my flatmates and other people outside of, um, well, not outside the university, but outside of our kind of block when I can do, obviously, permitting with the current regulations, depending on the time, because we've, we've just come out of a, I think it was called a fire break, a lockdown or something like that. But since we've come out of that again, I can see people a little bit more regularly, which is good. Um, so, yeah, moving forward with, with eBay, as I say, definitely time to do it. Uh, I will be putting some more items on. It really uh, doesn't take that long to put items on, you know, to list items on your phone. And considering that, I, you know, most of these things are just jiffy bag items, it shouldn't take too long if I can refine my process down, home my process down, um, and, you know, doing the labeling and stuff like that doesn't take that long, uh, considering that I'll be able to do it all online and then print out the labels. Um, so yeah, there's really no excuses that I have not to do it. Um, but certainly in the first few weeks, I was immersing myself deeply in that university life. So um, with that being said, I will do updates on this channel, obviously, because I know primarily this is a reselling channel. Obviously, I've changed it up. There's been a numerous kind of developments in this channel, and I did kind of change it up uh, a few months back to be more oriented on, um, you know, a little bit of my life, a few vlogs and things like that. I remember probably about four or five months ago, maybe even a little bit longer than that now, I was doing a few more vlogs, you know, a little bit of reselling in there, but also a little bit of my life and stuff. So expect a full range of stuff. Obviously, there'll always be reselling on this channel. There'll always be investing things on this channel. When I'm here at university, it might be a bit more varied, a little bit more mixed, a little bit more, you know, all over the place. When I get back home come Christmas, well, I mean, if I get back home come Christmas at the moment with the lockdown stuff, but if I get back home at Christmas and, and certainly in the summer holidays, there'll be a bit more structure centered around the more reselling and investing stuff. Um, but certainly it is going to be a bit more of a... Um, uh, well, I don't know whether coagulation is the right word, but it is going to be some sort of mixed entity that's kind of forming this whole, uh, but it, it's made up of all different sorts of parts and, and, and things in there. But um, yeah, so I'll leave it there for this video, guys. Obviously, we are on eight minutes now, so don't really want this to be a crazy long video. As I say, I will put those pictures up of a few of the items, of the four items uh, I've got on so you can see those as well. And uh, we'll just see where this goes. Obviously, I can do, if I am um, actually being able to sell things on eBay, you know, the auctions are going okay and I actually get some sales, then I can do sales updates again, uh, which is brilliant. So obviously, I can, I can provide you with some of that content as well, which you will have been used to seeing previously. Now, I don't really know in terms of on the auctions how well they're going to go. At first, I was thinking... Uh, obviously before I came to uni, I thought, well, if I stick to certain things that are quite um, popular, like Lego or things like that, the auctions might not do too badly. But I'm just wondering at the moment, I'm not really sure, because when I check for a few of the items, bear in mind a few of the items that I've just got on there, um, obviously, as you will have seen them by now on the video, uh, they're not brilliant items. Maybe the, the one okay item is, is the Lego poly bag. Um, but I don't even know whether that's going to do as well on auction. So um, it may be a case that in future I might revise it and do the buy it now thing uh, and just end up trying to regiment, regiment myself in checking eBay. But I know that with the studying and the other things, my blinders are going to be on. Well, yeah, I suppose that's the right phrase. My blinders will be on to eBay. So I'll end up um, missing eBay some days and and forgetting about it or something like that because I'm so concentrated on the main aspect of my life, which is the studying. So, uh, but we'll see, we, we might change something up. There might be the changes or there might be certainly, uh, if I go to the charity shops and buy some stuff, which I haven't done yet, I've just got the stuff that I bought with me uh, to sell. Um, but if I go to the charity shops and buy stuff, then maybe um, I'll concentrate on things that really will do well for me on auction and actually get some good results um, and, and try and tailor it to that. But I really don't know how well that is actually going to pan out or not. I'm, I'm really not sure at this point, um, but we can only try, we can only experiment and we're going to get mixed results with this. Some of the auctions aren't going to do well at all. Other auctions might do really well. Uh, with the stuff I've bought with me, I'm not really that 
um, I don't really care that much about that stuff because a lot of that doesn't owe me anything anymore. A lot of the Lego poly bags actually that you'll see coming on, uh, I've got for free off Lego Shop at home or st or similar. Um, and so therefore it doesn't matter too much. But obviously the things that I'm going to buy in the charity shops, I am obviously going to have a stake in them. I'm going to have some money put in them, uh, invested in them. So obviously I do want them to f perform fairly decent on auction. So when I start doing that, I am going to have to have um some sort of strategy and some sort of idea of whether these things are going to do well on auction for me but with that being said as i said i, I was, was going to close it up a few minutes ago i've rambled for another three minutes there um so thank you very much for, for those of you who have stuck with the channel i know it's all over the place i know it's all messy uh it's it's just a, a reflection of my life in some regard in terms of the the, the going from one uh, life to another here at university and so it is going to be messy and different and all crazy and stuff um but that being said i'll leave it there guys uh whack a like on the video if you did enjoy it um obviously whack uh, your comments down below um and also subscribe if you haven't already so i will see you in the next one guys see you very soon